So if you've interviewed for a software job in the past couple of years, you might have noticed a gigantic uptick in the amount of take home assignments you need to do. It is essentially homework. And since 2019, the use of take home assignments has surged by 87% as a method of assessing candidates. But this practice is wildly unpopular amongst engineers and candidates, with many people raising their pitchforks online and urging other people not to do these assessments. So the question is, why? Why does it seem like so many of these companies are asking these take home assessments? And more importantly, does it hurt or benefit the candidates in terms of getting a job? Let's dive into all of this. So to start, what is a take home assignment, especially in the software space? So it's basically a test that companies give you to evaluate you during the interview process. And the nature of the assignment varies by company. Some integrate them into the final round of their onsite interview. Some use them as a pre-technical assessment before the onsite interview and some others use them as a pre-assessment before you get to talk to any human whatsoever. And these coding assessments can range in taking from one to four to even more hours to do. And it can range from being some sort of longer algorithmic assessments, or it could be some script you write based on some product document or something, or it could be building out a full web application with a front end, a back end, a Docker container, and maybe asking you to deploy it end to end. And the goal of these assignments is simply to assess your skills as a software engineer. So with all that out of the way, let's discuss why companies even want to ask this stuff in the first place. Traditionally, companies usually interview with some sort of algorithmic assessment, which is some sort of lead code style question where candidates stand in front of a whiteboard and usually do some sort of live coding with a real engineer on some sort of problem. But there are a few problems with this traditional algorithmic interview process that is slowly starting to leak through. For one, there has been a massive power creep in the amount of time that some people spend studying these software engineering interview lead code algorithmic style questions, with some studying hundreds upon hundreds of problems as a baseline. Meaning that some of these interviews have become so difficult and the problems asked so abstract that they have very little to do with the actual job that the person is being hired for. Which means that once someone passes these interviews and are hired, there's no guarantee that they will actually be good at their job. This disconnect is why some companies have begun to shift towards take home assignments. Because in theory, a take home assignment should be a short and accurate assessment of what you will actually be doing and encountering on the job. And in theory, it should offer insights into a candidate's code style, their thought process, and their problem solving skills in a real world scenario. And there has been real world research that shows that take home assignments can reduce time to hire for candidates by 40%. So now, why does every company nowadays seem to require a take home assessment? The reasons why the companies are doing this is pretty simple. It is a cost effective method of filtering out candidates especially in the early rounds. Recently, there's been a dramatic shift of power between companies and candidates. The power has shifted drastically towards the side of the companies who can now pick and choose more what kinds of software engineers they want. Basically due to the massive volume of job applicants for very few job openings. And with such a large supply of interviewees, these companies can get away with different kinds of interviewing practices. What take home assignments accomplish for the company is to put the burden of time entirely on the candidate. You see, because a traditional interview usually requires a company to pay an engineer to sit with you for either one hour or multiple hours to assess your skills. And this is a significant time and money investment on the part of the company, which can feel a little bit more balanced because the company is taking time and money to interview you and the candidate is taking time and money to interview with the company. But with take home assessments, the entire burden falls on the candidate. The candidate can spend hours and hours and hours on a single assignment. And meanwhile, the company can use their resources to interview other candidates, spend only a couple minutes looking at your project that you maybe spent hours on, or just ignore your assignment altogether in favor of other candidates. So this whole process simply just lowers the amount of total investment per candidate for the companies, especially if they're sending out these take home assignments early on in the interview process. So is this trend of take home assignments better or worse for the industry? There are extremely mixed feelings about take home assignments in the tech community. For the development community, 
There are people who hate these assignments. And then there are people who love it. And from the company's perspective, there's also a split amongst people who think it's worth it to interview like this or it's a massive waste of time and resources. So let's start with candidates' perspective, where opinions are strongly divided. On one end, we have the crowd that has a very sharp message. Never do take-home assignments. The thought process here is that if you do a take-home assignment, you're just giving away all your power to the companies. Mostly because these assignments can take hours, if not days, to complete, which really doesn't scale well for a candidate if they're interviewing at multiple companies, or they're trying to balance life responsibilities, or they're trying to balance their own nine to five job. And in this group also, there is a number of people that think that the more that people agree to do take home assignments in the tech community, the more that companies will feel like it's okay to keep asking these hours and hours long assessments, leading to a deteriorating experience across the entire industry. And on the flip side, there's a crowd in the online community that is extremely positive about these take-home assessments. To sum it up, this group feels like take-home assignments are great for everyone because it allows candidates to show off their skills in a much more controlled environment. It can allow you to showcase, you know, practical coding skills, to submit really high quality work, and most importantly, to help alleviate interview anxiety and to minimize pressure on the candidate. Because some people are brilliant engineers, but they crumble in high pressure interview situations. Another argument is that the take home assignment can lead to much more stimulating conversations with interviewers. Because you're guaranteed to have a mentally stimulating conversation with your interviewer, discussing performance trade offs, code style, language choice, tooling, personal coding preferences, and stuff like that when you're working on a full project rather than some sort of isolated algorithmic question or something. And it can give an interviewer a good sense of what it's really like to work with you in a real life scenario. And even more interestingly, some candidates, given the choice between a take home assignment and an on site live interview, candidates chose the take home assignment, given that the take home assignments met three criteria. They were short, they were relevant to the job, and they're a useful indicator of what the actual job will be like. So we talk about the candidates and the engineer side of all this. But what about the company's side? Again, there's two sides to their argument. One side argues that take home assessments are extremely ineffective for companies for a number of reasons. The first one is that it takes much longer to evaluate than a regular phone screen. Take home assignments are just incredibly easy to cheat on since you can't watch the interviewer coding. It doesn't really explain a lot of things like soft skills, communication skills, or how you work in a team. And again, just like earlier, it doesn't scale well because engineers now have to review tons and tons of projects from these candidates. But there's another side that says the take home assignments can actually be extremely effective if designed correctly. With correctly meaning setting a hard deadline of two hours for the assignment and probably most importantly, compensating candidates if their assignment takes more than two hours of their time. And there's another strategy that some companies are using that's essentially a happy medium between all of these methods that we've talked about, which is essentially asking an interviewee to do an assignment all the same, but to do it live in front of an interviewer and then assess them on it afterwards. This has shown to be pretty effective because it can set hard limits on the time constraints for the project, and it can help to limit or mitigate the amount of cheating that's going on. So in conclusion, should you be doing take home assignments if you are trying to get a software job right now? I think in general, it depends on your discretion. If the take home assignments are ridiculous in nature and are gonna take hours and hours and hours to finish, and you really don't have time for all of that, then it's probably best to skip those take home assignments. But if they are reasonable, they take a few hours of your time, and they are part of an on-site interview or final round at a company, it would probably make sense to do those assessments. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about the world of getting a software job, you might wanna check out this video on why companies won't hire entry-level software engineers anymore. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Thanks for watching.